Yo, what's up guys? Gorilla Bear Tech, your big bad Gorilla Bear is back at you again with another product unboxing and review combo. And once again guys, I've already flown this drone. I've flown most of them. You've seen them in my live streams. But for the sake of an unboxing and review video, and the fact that I haven't put out an unboxing and review video in the last, you know, two to three months, maybe a little bit more than three months, almost four, um, it's been a drag, okay? I got kind of carried away with, you know, with, with everything I'm thinking of and, and all this stuff, okay? So, with the fact that I haven't done an unboxing and review within the last two to four months, I'm back to you guys again with another drone review, okay? Now this is the famously known, or some people may not know about it, but it, but it's the uh, the Horizon Hobby brand uh, Blade and Duck Tricks, okay? Now, if you guys haven't heard of a Blade and Duck Tricks, it's basically like all the other drones I have, same same amount of fun and everything. Uh, just a little bit funner, and, ju and, and it's, it's just as zippy as my uh, as my six millimeter and seven millimeter brushed drones, which are the uh, Ishin 011 and Ishin 010, and also the Fury BF 36. It's just as powerful as those ones. But uh, what's cool about it is the controller. Okay, now you get an awesome hobby grade remote controller, also 2.4 gigahertz just like the rest and um, it's basically DSM uh, spectrum technology built into the controller okay now this is what you're greeted with with the unboxing right I put everything in here just for the sake of an unboxing and a review video now it's self-leveling so you do get a self-leveling uh, self safe feature located at the top right hand side of the box you get two canopies one is uh, what the drone comes with which is the red one and then you get the blue one and, and they're Lexan painted little canopies okay painted bodies just like what you see on the RC cars like my slash and everything else all right you get horizon hobby located at the top left then you get inductrix right at the bottom and yes guys it is a beginner EDF drone it's stealthy and you get blade at the bottom left hand side stealthy quiet ducted fans which it is a lot quieter than my other ones the Ishin and the Fury Beast um, it is still semi loud but it's not as loud as the other ones and it's also got a different connector, which I will show you. It's got a cylindrical rotor housings. Very durable it is. I've crashed it uh, at least four to five times, and the thing just keeps flying, guys. You get precise uh, Spectrum DSMX technology, which is the controller that comes with it. Ready to fly, RTF, okay, brand new. I got it brand new. But with this one, guys, I got off of Amazon. I didn't get it off of uh, Banggood like the rest. The majority I got off of Banggood. Except for the uh, the Fury B F36 and the Fury B H108, all right, and this one. So these three drones, I got them off of Amazon. Now this one I paid 54.99 for. Okay, bought it with my own money, um, with my own money, brand new guys. Amazing drone. I don't know what else to say about it. There's not many cons about it, guys. The only con is the flight time with a standard 25C rated one cell 3.7 volt battery, which is what most of these little tiny whoop type drones come with, anyways, like my e chains and and my Fury Bees. Okay, it's basically the same thing like those ones, except this one comes with a different connector. Okay, it comes with like a JST or uh, something like that. I don't, I don't know exactly what they call this connector, but I'll show it to you. Right. On the left-hand side, you got another innovation by Horizon Hobby: safe, pause and read for yourselves. You get your pitch and your roll. Okay, altitude and you know left and right, forward, backward, you know going down, going up. You guys get it. Okay. And then you got to bind it too. You got to bind the remote to the drone, which you flick the left stick up and you flick it down. So it's that way with this one. You do have to bind it. Now, my Fury B H108, you don't have to bind it. As soon as you connect the battery in first, then you turn on the remote, it automatically binds and it automatically self levels like this one, okay? So that's cool. This one, you actually have to bind it before you take off. Some of them, you have to bind them. So just keep that in mind, guys. All right, Blade Inductrix, once again, it's an incredible, incredible drone. I love it. I'm actually going to buy another one, okay? I'm going to get another one ready to fly just like this one. Now, it's not a toy, guys. It is a toy, but it's not a toy. you got to be careful. It's hobby grade. It's not recommended for people under 14 years of age, okay? you got some language in it in German right there. To me, it looks like German. All right? Came out in 2015, apparently. So there you go. Pause and read all of this. I'm not going to read it all to you because then the video will go up to like 12 to 14 minutes like my usual videos my older unboxings and reviews that is okay you do get the sticker which I cut right here the tape alright 
Once again, I got this off of Amazon for $54.99. So you're looking at, uh, no, 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 it was $53.99. You're looking at $54, okay? But still, $54, $55 is basically the same. You're looking at almost 60 bucks. So it is quite expensive, but it's not that bad. Now that's the, the model number right there in the name. Mode 2, which is how most drones come. I'm right-handed, so I like Mode 2. You can select this in Mode 1, and you can get this with just, uh, with just bind and fly, okay? So if you get the regular bind and fly version of this, you're looking at $39.99 off of Amazon and Horizon Hobby and wherever else you can find it, okay? If you can get better deals than that, please let me know. I don't know of any better deals than that. I just don't know. At the moment I purchased it, I paid $54.99. Or, no, no, $53.99, okay? But you're looking at around $54 to $55 for this, which is not bad. It's not a bad deal because of the controller that comes with it, all right? So, amazing drone. Here's the right side. Uh, yeah, the right side. Everything included in the box. Okay. Sorry for the shadow, guys. Hang on. Let me just tip it sideways for you guys. It's easier this way. 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. Sorry for not focusing. Fully assembled airframe. Once again, read it and pause the video. You get a rechargeable battery, battery charger, and four AA at batteries. What I love with this one, guys, is that you automatically get four AA batteries. That's what I love about the drones that you buy from hobby shops and, the, and most of the cars that you buy from hobby shops. You know, the majority of them do come included with double A's and triple A batteries, so that's incredible. Now you basically open it like this, okay, and you're greeted. I just put this together just for the sake of the video, guys, but this is how it comes, brand new, once you rip the tape. You get your instructions and your three instruction manuals in three different languages at the bottom. You get your blade spectrum remote, okay, now this is the stock radio fly remote. You can buy the more you know, expensive brands, the more expensive uh, Spectrum controllers, which are better than this one, but this is what you get with Radio Fly. Now, this one doesn't come with the camera. Mind you, it doesn't come with the camera. It's the original Blade Inductrix, okay? It's not the FPV, the yellow one, and the FPV Plus, which is the one that recently just came out, which is the big red one. Okay, it's not like those ones. This is the very first one that came out. And then they start coming out with uh, cameras on, the, on their drones, okay? So you get an extra canopy. I put the blue one on there, but when you open it, it's gonna have the red shell on there, okay? I just decided to go with blue this time. Now, the con is that the runtime is not long. It's only, you know, a good five to five to 10 minutes with the stock 20 feet, 25C battery that you see here. It's only a one cell LiPo, also known as lithium polymer. You get your E-Flight charger and the, the battery is also called E-Flight, guys. They use E-Flight, all right? It's a little USB you plug into, the, uh, into an outlet or a computer and that's how you charge. Okay, you get your drone. You don't get extra propellers, which is the con I was just going to talk to you about. You don't get any propellers with this damn thing. So that's what sucks. Other than that, everything else is a, uh, is a pro. Now, I would take this out for you guys, but I need two hands to do it. And it's just tough doing it with one hand. So I'm just going to show it for you guys right now. I'm going to show it the way it is. Give you a good look. There's the inside of the box on the left side. Okay. So it's pretty much simple. It's simple packaging. It's incredible. It's actually packaged the best. I wish a lot of companies did this, but they just don't. Isheen and Fury V don't package their drones nearly as good as this company. So I, I got to give packaging and uh, detail and all that other stuff a thumbs up. Okay. Now these are your pitch sticks. You know, they're, they're more like pincher style. Okay. So if you're one of those guys who's a drone expert, you fly drones on a regular basis. The pinching method is what a lot of these professionals use. I don't pinch. I normally fly it with my thumbs at the top, but it's harder that way. So, you know, you can learn different ways to fly. You can become an expert flyer, and there's two speed modes. There's fast mode, and there's slow mode. This automatically comes by default in fast mode. So if you like, you know, if you like going 5 to 15 miles an hour, or, uh, you know, 5 to 11 miles per hour, because this will do it, uh, then go for it, you know what I mean? Just keep it in default mode. But if you want to go slower, you push down on, I believe it was, which button was it? It's the, it's the right it's the right stick, okay? You push down on the right stick to change the speeds, all right? This one, don't push that because it's going to do some crazy stuff. It's going to dart into a wall. It's going to go even, you know, a times faster than it normally goes. All right? I made that mistake. Do not do that. I believe that's headless mode, but it does have headless mode too, from what I know. No, it doesn't have acro mode, which is another bad thing. Acro is basically where it does stunt flips left to right, forward, backward, 
stuff like that. My Ishings and Fury Bees can do it. This one can't do it. So there are some takeaways between the Ishing, Fury Bee, and Blade brand, okay? But there's also pros that this brand has that the others do not have, okay? Durability is excellent. I haven't, I haven't snapped my frame yet. I haven't snapped the inside. I haven't popped off a propeller. If a propeller pops off, you guys, I was going to explain this to you right now. If you have problems with the propeller popping off, just snap it back on. It's not difficult, okay? Now, with disconnecting the battery, it's very simple on this drone. With my Ishin and Fury B, I was going to mention to you guys, you're going to need some type of stitching and sewing needles, okay? Uh, if you live at home or you know somebody like a girlfriend or a mother that owns stitching needles, a stitching kit, use one of those very thin pointy needles to stick into the JST, uh, the JST connector because that's what they're called apparently, JST. They're, they got all types of different connectors. This one's, uh, I believe this one's JST as well, but the, the wire that hangs off of it, the connector that's on the drone itself, is way better than my Ishin and Fury Bees, okay? I just love this one so much more. All right? So... If you, if you do buy an Ishin or Fury B, uh, Fury B brand, make sure that you have something like that available. Don't use a knife. You're going to need to use something very thin, you know, like, like a stitching needle, like I said. You know, something thin and pointy and long but hard. You know what I mean? And no, guys, do not mean that. Uh, do not, you know, think perverted. I'm not trying to be a pervert. I'm just saying, all right? Have a stitching kit available just in case if you're going to buy these little uh, smaller size drones, okay, like tiny whoops, all right? Basically like the Ishins that you've seen in my live streams and, and this one. They're all basically the same size. The FPV, the FPV Plus version of the Blade and Ductrix though, the Blade and Ductrix FPV Plus, that is the biggest one. The red one with the clear frame that looks like this one, that's the biggest one. I believe it's got 8mm brush motors. Now all of these come brush guys, okay? Whether it's Ishin Fury B or the original Blade and Ductrix or the FPV or, and even the FPV Plus. They all come brushed, all right? You can't get these ones in brushless. Now they do sell drones this size, this size that are brushless, but uh, they're made by different companies. One of them is called Warlark. I've seen it in this uh, guy's tech video. He goes by his channel name goes by the name of uh, Ali Sean Mao or something like that. He's an Arab guy, awesome dude. If you guys haven't seen his video, check it out. Um, once again, his name is Ali Sean uh, Mao. Or, it's pronounced something like that. Okay, I think it's Arabic. But anyways, he's a really cool dude. He's got that Warlock br uh, brushless drone, and it's basically the size of these ones, okay? It's small. It's like a tiny whoop, but it just goes so much faster, guys. I mean, it goes like 25 to 40 miles per hour, maybe even more. I mean, it's quick, okay? I would say roughly 25 to 40 miles per hour, though, and it probably goes up to three cell, okay, or two cell. So it is about the same size as this one, maybe bigger, but it's around the same size. It's small, okay? These are basically considered micros or minis, all right? Other than that, guys, these are the uh, Ishin 012 batteries. I was going to show you the little micro ones I just did an unboxing and review on. All right, they're tiny little one-cell 3.7-volt LiPo batteries. Lithium polymer is another name for them. And uh, they're only 150 milliamp, okay? 150 mill milliamp stands for runtime. So you only get about 5 to 10 minutes runtime on those ones, all right? If it's a 200 to a 260 milliamp, which I do have batteries that are 200, 260 on, the, on my bigger drones, uh, on the Ishin 011s and the 010s. Those ones will last you just about 12 to 15 minutes, okay? They should, about 12 to 15 minutes. All right? Once again, I'm not the expert on every drone out there or on every tech product. I do my best. And I do my best to unbox and review, and I try to learn things to the best of my knowledge. So that's about it, guys. These batteries are done charging. This is once again the original Blade Inductrix. Go buy one right now. Do not hesitate. Spend that $54. It is amazing. Love you guys. Take care until the next video. Peace.